Greenston is an amalgamated town in the Canadian province of Ontario with a population of 4,636 according to the 2016 Canadian Census. It stretches along Highway 11 from Lake Nipigon to Longlac and covers 2,767.19 square kilometres 1,068.42 square miles. The town was formed in 2001, as part of a wave of community amalgamations under the Progressive Conservative Government of Ontario. It combined the former townships of Beardmore and Nakina, the towns of Geraldton and Longlac with large unincorporated portions of unorganized Thunder Bay District. It is the administrative office of the Anambegu Zagiigan Anishinaabek First Nation Band Government. Topic: Communities. Greenston includes the communities of Beardmore, Caramat, Geraldton, Jellico, Longlac, McDermott, Nakina, and Orient Bay. The municipal administrative offices are located in Geraldton. Nakina and Caramat are entirely exclaved from the rest of the municipality's territory. Topic: History. T. L. Taunton, Geological Survey of Canada, noted gold in quartz fragments around Little Long Lac in 1917. Similarly, Tony Auckland found ore in a boulder during World War I. However, it wouldn't be until 1931 that Bill Hard Rock Smith and Stan Watson would stake 18 claims along three veins. Tom Johnson and Robert Wells filed claims based on gold appearing in Magnet Lake Quartz outcrop and the presence of bismuthinite. The Bankfield Gold Mine developed from these claims. In 1932, Johnson and Auckland staked 12 claims at Little Long Lac. Fred McLeod and Arthur Cockshit filed 15 claims near Smith's. Nakina was first established in 1923 as a station and railway yard on the National Transcontinental Railway, between the divisional points of Grant and Armstrong. Nakina was at mile 15.9 of the NTR's Grant subdivision. Following the completion in 1924 of Canadian National Railways as Longlac Nakina Cutoff, connecting the rails of the Canadian Northern at Longlac and the NTR, Nakina became the new divisional point, and the buildings from the town of Grant 25 km to the east were moved to the new Nakina town site. By 1934, a gold rush absorbed the area from Long Lac to Nipigon, a belt 100 km long and 40 km wide. The village of Hard Rock was established in 1934, and Long Lac, Bankfield, and Geraldton soon followed. Though a 1936 fire threatened the mines, development was able to continue, as an important railway service stop from 1923 until 1986, the town had a railway roundhouse as well as a watering and fueling capability. During World War II, there was also a radar base on the edge of the town, intended to watch for a potential attack on the strategically important Sioux Locks at Sault Ste. Marie. Research into the radar site in the National Archives of Canada indicates that it was largely a United States Army Air Forces operation, pre-dating the Pine Tree Line radar bases that were erected to focus on the Cold War threat. The Nakina base was totally removed shortly after the war. The settlement of Geraldton is a compound of the surname of financiers of a nearby gold mine near Kenogamasis Lake in 1931 Fitzgerald and Errington, the Geraldton Beardmore Gold Camp, in the heart of the Canadian Shield, hosts numerous mineralized zones which continue to be explored for potential development. Eight gold mines operated here between 1936 and 1970. Tom Powers and Phil Sillam staked what became the Northern Empire Mine 1925 near Beardmore, which produced a total of 149,493 ounces of gold. The Little Long Lac Mine (1934–1953) produced 605,449 ounces of gold, besides producing scheelite. J.M. 
Wood and W. T. Brown developed the Sturgeon River Gold Mine 1936 to 1942, which produced 73,438 ounces of gold. James and Russell Criderman found and Carl Springer incorporated what became known as the Leach Gold Mine 1936 to 1968, which produced 861,982 ounces of gold from 0.92 grade ore. The Bankfield Gold Mines produced 66,416 ounces by 1942. Tomball Mines 1938 to 1942, started by Tom and Bill Johnson, produced 69,416 ounces. The Magnet Mine 1938 to 1942 produced 152,089 ounces. The Hard Rock Mine 1938 to 1951 produced 269,081 ounces, while the McLeod Cockshit 1938 to 1970 produced 1,516,980 ounces. In the 1970s, pulp and paper operations near the town resulted in growth in the town's population to its peak of approximately 1,200. However, at this point, cost controls in the railway industry meant that service and maintenance could be consolidated at points much more distant from one another than had been common in the first half of the 20th century. As a result, the value of Nakina as a railway service community was greatly diminished, to the point where the railway was no longer a substantial employer in the town. Also in the 1970s, a radio station was launched in Longlac as Chap on the AM dial. This station left the air by the late 70s. The town remains focused on tourism, diminished pulp and paper operations, and support of other more northern communities food, fuel, and transportation. Mining and minerals industries are often seen as a source of further growth, though the Canadian shield geology of the area makes extraction of minerals like gold an expensive operation. The town was a centre of the SARS outbreak in 2003. As of 2009, a proposed ore transport point around Nakina, as part of the Ring of Fire development, may shift the emphasis of local industry from logging back to mining. In 2010 the Ring of Fire development, proposed James Bay rail link and placement of processing plants remains of great economic interest for the region. Development is slated to move over the next three to five years in an over $1.5 billion project. On 19 February 2011, Beardmore was temporarily evacuated after a major explosion ruptured the Trans-Canada pipeline in the community. Topic: Demographics. Population trend. Population in 2016 to 4,636. Population in 2011 to 4,724. Population in 2006 to 4,906 or 4,886 when adjusted to 2011 boundaries. Population in 2001 to 5,907. Population total in 1,996 to 6,530. Beardmore Township 418. Geraldton Town, 2627 Longlac Town, 2074 Nakina Township, 566 Population in 1991 Beardmore Township, 454 Geraldton Town, 2633 Longlac Town, 2073 Nakina Township, 635 <inaudible> <inaudible> Government Greenston's mayor is Reynold Bewley. The Greenston Public Library has branches in Beardmore, Geraldton, the Elsie Dugard Centennial Branch, Longlac and Nakina, the Helen Mackey Memorial Branch.
Topic climate Greenston experiences a humid continental climate DFB, with long, brutally cold winters and warm summers. The highest temperature ever recorded was 40.0 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit on July 11 and 12, 1936 at Longlac. The coldest temperature ever recorded was -50.2 degrees Celsius (-58.4 degrees Fahrenheit) on the 31st of January 1996 at Geraldton Airport. Christmas of 2017 brought bitterly cold weather to the region with nearly a week of temperatures near -50 degrees Celsius. Topic: In film The CBC First Nations television series Spirit Bay was shot here in the mid-1980s at the Bayanjatiwabik Zajing Anishnabek First Nations Reserve. Notable people Boris Ellick, NHL hockey player John Grisdale, NHL hockey player James Hendry, soldier and recipient of the George Cross Roy Thomas, painter Jane Urquhart, novelist Kelsey Wilson, NHL hockey player See also Beardmore relics, Viking Age artifacts found near Beardmore, Ontario, originally proposed to be evidence of Vikings in Ontario. Later, the relics were proven to have been a hoax. Through a series of witnesses as well as the son of the person who had originally found them, the relics were found to have been planted in Beardmore and not, as was suggested, found there. List of townships in Ontario List of Francophone communities in Ontario Matashuan, Ontario Cobalt Silver Rush Porcupine Gold Rush Red Lake, Ontario Hemlo, Ontario <laughs>